Welcome to Culture Crash, where we examine what's new and old in entertainment. About a year into its life as a streaming service, HBO Max has certainly had some high highs and some low lows. Its launch was famously a bit of a mess, as it was originally unavailable on Roku and Amazon Fire Stick. Several of the titles that were intended to be released with the service's launch, including a documentary on Anthony Bourdain and a long-awaited Friends cast reunion show, still haven't been released. And director Christopher Nolan loudly proclaimed it to be the worst streaming service when tensions were high over Warner Brothers' plans to release new films directly to the service. Still, HBO Max has seemingly weathered all of those storms pretty well. The service is now available on Roku and Fire Stick. Those forthcoming titles remain eagerly anticipated, and the direct rollout of new titles has actually worked pretty well. Judas and the Black Messiah was originally released on Max, and it secured an Oscar nomination for Best Picture, as well as a win for Daniel Kaluuya in the Oscars Best Supporting Actor category. Godzilla v. Kong still managed to earn over $400 million at the global box office, including $93 million stateside, despite its simultaneous release on HBO Max and in theaters. And that direct-to-max plan saved all of us the time, money, and hassle of seeing the disappointing Wonder Woman 1984 in theaters by letting us watch, or in my wife's case, stop watching, the movie at home instead. But in addition to all of that, the real secret is that HBO Max's bench is deep. It has stirring, groundbreaking originals such as It's a Sin and Generation. It has a collection of movies from Kill Bill to Blade Runner and from Mr. Smith Goes to Washington to Goodfellas that outpace all of its streaming rivals. Its inclusion of Turner Classic Movies, Studio Ghibli, and the entire HBO back library has made it probably the richest library of all those streaming options, And I know for me, it has become my first line of perusing when I'm looking for a movie or a show to watch. HBO Max had its rollout compared to the nightmare rollout of Quibi. But while Quibi died a swift death to the internet graveyard, HBO Max has proved to be a juggernaut that really does seem poised to rival Netflix and Hulu for the foreseeable future. I'm Evan Rowe.